Okay, time for the test here with the uh, with the uh, RXs. And what we can do with this test is because uh, I can't get outside, it's it's still raining. As you might see on one of my other tests. Basically, what we're going to do here is we're going to switch the transmitter on. I'm going to give them full throttle so I get my servos working right. I'm going to trap this transmitter inside this this aluminium case, and we're going to just place it down here in the corner of the workshop. Basically we're just restricting the, uh, the actual transmission signals and hopefully going to stop them from getting to these uh, these three receivers on this board. Uh, just a quick recap from the other tests. We've got the uh, AR6210 in the middle. Uh, we've got, I'll just undo the, I'll take, I'll take the, the satellite receiver so that's now not connected because we've got the, the orange uh, RX, 6 channel RX from Hobby King uh, and I'm still waiting for the the satellite receiver to arrive for that so it would be an unfair test to have a satellite receiver on the, uh, on the AR6210 and we've got an unnamed brand here uh, that I bought a long time ago, I've been using it a long time, never had a problem with it uh, I've been playing it on my uh, Copter X uh, 450 and uh, it's been fine uh, but we really want to pitch them against each other and see, if, see how they perform uh, you might remember from one of the other tests that uh, during the brownout test, uh, the AR six one six sorry six two one zero didn't perform very well. Uh, as it browned out, it created the server let, let, let the server go free running. While the other two carried on operating the, the server, even though the the LED, LEDs were flashing to say that, that that there was low power, it still managed to still keep performing the servos. Whereas the AR six two one zero didn't. It kept stopping. Uh, to make the test fair, I, I thought, well, maybe it's because it, these two servos, it was actually running the DS650 uh, from a line, and I thought, well, maybe that's drawing more current, it's probably an unfair test, so I put the small of the uh, of the servos on the uh, AR6210, formed the test again, and it still failed to drive that uh, during uh, during brownout or, or, or low voltage. Uh, on this test, I've got a but better battery. Uh, it's still possible to brown out this the, the circuit with with with, uh, with these three receivers and, and and these two big servos. Because I am only using a, a five ampere back, uh, but we'll just we'll just drive it quite slowly. Okay, so if I switch this on, we should get a uh, a connection. The AR the AR six two one zero. Uh, connects faster than the others, but that's not necessarily true all the time. Uh, I've done this test 30 times now, uh, and it's just random uh, which which one connects first. I'd possibly say the AR6210 does connect more often first. Uh, it certainly reconnects fastest if you switch the transmitter on and off. Uh, it either, it either will hold the servo in the correct position unless it's been off off for uh, maybe a second or so. Uh, but if you switch off, switch back on again really quickly. If the other two drop, the, the the two Hobby King ones on the one on the left and the one on the, on the right, uh, they instantly drop the servo position and fail to save. Whereas the AR6210 holds it for just 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 that split second basically uh, before it drops it, and it reconnects the fastest always. Time after time reconnects the fastest after uh, it's lost the signal. Right, okay. What we can do in, in the now is obviously the signals are getting to these to these RX. So I'll uh, I'll stop doing the uh, the commentary uh, and we'll just watch what results are as I start walking away away from the transmitter uh, and and actually leave the workshop and go into the house. So I have to stay inside because it is raining. Let's just see how far how far we get. Not very far.
Okay, so interesting, eh? Don't really think that proved much. They're about equal, I would have said. Uh, some, some, some failed. Some was on. Some was off. Some failed. Uh, randomly picking up signals. Uh, to be fair, I don't think I'd possibly say that any, any was better than than each other. There, I don't know what you guys think. Uh, let me know. But I think they were both about the same. Oh, oh sorry, all, all three was about the same there. Okay, thanks for looking. Cheers, bye.